But in the middle, middle of a pandemic with such a political divide, is it feasible to imagine the U.S. supporting a global ecocide law? Texas sure ain't going to pitch in. Are we barking up the wrong tree? And I should mention here that some of the biggest fossil fuel corporations are from the United States. And, and the U.S. is not a, a signatory on the International um, Criminal Court. So where does the U.S. fit into this conversation? Well, I think this is a very interesting moment in the United States. You know, if we'd have been speaking a year ago, I'd have said, yep, I can't see the previous administration of Mr. Trump um, seizing this by the horns and saying, yes, we're going with this. Um, but things have changed, and we have noticed, sitting in London and other parts of the world, that the current administration seems to be taking climate change a lot more seriously than the previous administration. And we know that there are some people in Congress, both House of Representatives and in the Senate, who are very focused on this. I'm thinking, uh, actually, of a senator I've come to know, Sheldon Whitehouse, who, who is absolutely committed to addressing uh, climate change. And once I'm off this program, I'm going to drop him a note and say, Sheldon, what are you going to do about this? There are plenty of people in Congress now who are starting to look seriously at this. As temperatures rise, as you have fires in California, the terrible cold in Texas over the last few days, which we've been noticing even here in London and watching from afar, this concentrates the mind. So I think one has to be optimistic and hopeful. You know, the U.S. led the world in the Nuremberg moment. It was the U.S. that gave us the Nuremberg trial. It's the U.S. that gave us the idea of international crimes. It's the U.S. that gave us crimes against humanity, genocide, war crimes in this modern way. Why not the U.S.? I think it's programs like this, your listeners, you, Jen, who can make it happen. It's, it's not beyond the realms of possibility, but I accept that it's not immediately apparent that they're going to be chomping at the bit tomorrow. I'm Jen White. You're listening to 1A.